This is Gene Key, SkyServ News. The Associated Press reports the Supreme Court on Friday threw out electoral maps drawn by federal judges in Texas that favor minorities. The unsigned opinion left the fate of Texas' April primaries unclear. The justices ordered the three-judge court in San Antonio to come up with new plans that pay more attention to the maps created by Texas' Republican-dominated state legislature. All four of the state's new congressional seats, and perhaps control of the House of Representatives, could swing based on the outcome. Even without the Washington court's approval, Texas said it should be able to use its own maps just for this year because time is running out before the primaries. The Associated Press reports from Austin. The Texas Health Department has taken over hiring authority of all doctors at its 10 mental health facilities following newspaper reports that psychiatrists were hired with a documented history of sexual misconduct. The Austin American Statesman reported that an Austin-based administrator for the Department of State Health Services must review and approve psychiatrists before they are hired. The policy was being implemented this week. Health Department spokeswoman Carrie Williams says the decision boils down to adding more checks and balances to protect patients. In December, the Austin newspaper reported that the state knowingly hired three hospital psychiatrists with a documented history of sexual misconduct. The Associated Press reports the Texas unemployment rate has fallen to 7.8% in December, the lowest figure in two and a half years. The Texas Workforce Commission said Friday the jobless rate was down from 8.1% in November as the state added more than 20,000 non-farm jobs. Another 10,100 positions were added by private employers. The commission says the December rate was the state's lowest since July 2009. Commission Chairman Tom Palkin says Texas continues to see signs of improvement in the labor market. The national unemployment rate is 8.5 percent. Government added 10,100 jobs, while the big gainer among private sectors was leisure and hospitality, with an increase of 4,100 jobs. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.